You know, it's Miss D. Gordon representing. Hello, everyone. I'm Donisha Gordon, and this is DG Makes Math Easy, where we are intentional about making math new dimensional. Today's topic is indices, and we'll be working a few CSEC multiple choice questions. And hopefully, by the end of this video, you are equipped enough to approach these questions with confidence. So we'll be paying attention to three things. What are we presented with? What our answer should look like? And how do we get there? You might want to pay attention to the left side of your screen as there will be some pointers as we go along. Please remember to like this video and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. And finally, be a part of the discussion. Let me know in the comment section which topics you would like to see being reviewed. All right, so here's our first question and you can take a look at the exact question on your screen. Now, the first step in solving this question is to ensure that both sides have the same base. All right, we can express nine and three as the same base, which would be three. So in this case, nine is three squared. And if we have a power here and nine is also being raised to another power, x plus one, then both powers are multiplied. And as we know, this is three to the first power. The next thing we know is that if our bases are the same, then our powers are equal because this is an equation. So two times x plus one is equal to one. And we are solving for x as the question requires. So here we go. We expand 2x plus 2 is equal to 1. Subtracting 2 from both sides, we end up with 2x is equal to negative 1. Dividing both sides by 2, x is equal to negative a half. There we have it. Okay, we move to question 2. And again, we are being asked to find the value of x. Once again, to solve, we need to ensure that all our terms have the same base. And so three is quite applicable in this case. And so this is three to the first power. 27 is three to the third power. Again, there is already a power. So both powers are being multiplied. And nine is three squared. Two times X is going to be two X. All right. And another rule of indices that we know is that if the same base is being multiplied, then the powers can be added. So this is going to be 3 to the power of 1 plus 3 times 2x. And that is still equal to 3 to the power of 2x. What do we do at this point? Since our bases are the same, then our powers are equal. So 1 plus 3 times 2x is equal to 2x. And we can continue to simplify this side. Since we are solving for x, this is going to be 1 plus 6x equals 2x. Still solving for x, so we want to ensure that our x terms are on the same side and our constant stays by itself. So let's subtract 6x from this side. And if we do that on one side, then we must do it on the other. So now we have 1 equals negative 4x. We're solving for x. We get rid of this negative 4 by dividing both sides by negative 4. x is equal to negative a quarter. That's two done. Okay, let's take a look at our next question. Again, we want the same base for all our terms. And in this case, we're going to be smart and we're going to choose 2. Given that 4 and 16 are both numbers that are powers of 2. All right, so here we go. It's going to be 2 to the first power times. 4 is 2 squared. 2 is being multiplied by this power, x plus 1. And 16 is 2 to the fourth power. And that power is being multiplied by the power 2x. All right, so here we go. Again, if the two bases are the same and being multiplied, then we can add the powers so this is going to be 1 plus 2 to the x plus 1 2 times x plus 1 which is equal to 2 to the 4 times 2x all right good now that our bases are the same we can equate our powers so that's 1 plus 2 times x plus 1 
is equal to 4 times 2x. 1 plus 2x plus 2 equals 8x. Again, we're going to keep our x terms on one side and our constants on one side. All right, we can get rid of 2x from this side plus 2x, so we subtract. We do the same on both sides. Now we have 1 plus 2 giving us 3 equals 8x minus 2x, 6x. We need x, so we divide by 6 on both sides. Now x is equal to a half. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have a better understanding of indices. I'm Donisha Gordon, and this is DG Makes Math Easy. See you in our next video.